Hey, I'm Coach Todd. Welcome to 49ers EDU Digital Playbook Review, where you get the inside scoop to get you ahead of the game. We use the game of football to bring STEAM subjects to life. In this video, I want to tell you about math. More evidence for your teacher's claims that math is everywhere. You may have seen our Playbook Review page 6 video, where we explore the math of scoring in the NFL. That's great. I love it. In this video, we want to explore data science. This is an area of math where we gain meaningful insights from data. So let's define some terms for this lesson. Our first math term is data. Data is really another word for information, defined as a collection of facts, numbers, measurements, observations, or descriptions. Data can come from anywhere. It's any information you decide to collect. It could be keeping track of what you eat every day to how many minutes you read your book each week. The next math term is statistics. Statistics is a branch of math dealing with the collection and analysis of data. Statistics also refers to what you get when you analyze data. Data is taken from every football game and compared and calculated to give us player statistics, or stats. The next math term is ratio. A ratio is a relationship between two quantities. We use ratios to compare one number set to another. For example, you can compare the number of referees on the field to the number of players. You would end up with something that looks like this. 7 refs to 22 players. Our last math term is probability. Probability is the likelihood of something happening or being the case. We can understand probability by analyzing data, and this understanding helps in decision making. And we can use data to make decisions based on the probability of something happening or not happening. We usually define this in percentages, 0% if it's impossible, 100% if it's certain, and everything in between from unlikely to likely. There's almost nothing that's certain or impossible, especially in football, so we're usually working on the unlikely to likely scale. And we can be precise when we have the data to back us up. Let's use an example from a game. On this fourth down play, we need what we call a high percentage play, very likely to succeed, because it's our last chance to pick up the first down, and we need to score. This play was a quick out route to George Kittle, a big target with good hands, and led the team in yards after the catch. On the play, you'll see he makes the catch and breaks the tackle, getting us in great position, and even forces the other team to commit a penalty to stop him. Garoppolo fires, it is caught, still on his feet is Kittle with a big play and the stiff arm, George Kittle, flags fly, he's down to the 30! What a run by George Kittle! Take it on everybody, but the penalty is huge. Or a the play call and execution put us in excellent position to win with a field goal by Robbie Gold. Snap is high, the kick is up, and it is good! What a win for the 49ers! How do we know that this is a high percentage play? Well, data is taken from every game, and even practices, and we're able to analyze that and figure out which plays give us the highest probability in those must-have situations. A team led by Brian Hampton, our VP of Football Administration, helps analyze game data for every situation you can think of, so Coach Shanahan has plays ready for big decisions in any game. But remember, nothing is certain, so it doesn't mean they work every time. We can apply situations like this to our own lives. We use our understanding of probability to make decisions all the time. We don't have the data in front of us like the football example, but we often know when there's a high or low probability of something happening. We saw our last few math tests. We know the probability of getting a good grade increases with the extra hour of studying we should probably be doing. This is how probability informs our decisions and even our behavior. You may have seen our playbook review video for page 6. Allison Liu, Director of Business Strategy and Analytics, has a team that analyzes data for the business side of the 49ers. This team uses data to help make decisions about customer service. Every fan who comes to see a game at the stadium, and there could be over 70,000 of them, wants to have a great experience. And we can learn lessons every game about how to improve the experience of everyone in attendance to keep them coming back for more. Based in Silicon Valley, the 49ers have been fortunate to partner with SAP and understand what they're capable of when it comes to analyzing data. After a lot of work and collaboration, a first-of-its-kind operating system was created that tracks important customer data, which allows Allison and her team to address issues in real time. We call it the Executive Huddle, presented by SAP. 
It's a room full of computer screens that allow management to visualize real-time data throughout the game. The team is able to identify and resolve issues related to parking, ticketing, retail, concessions, social media, weather, the whole fan experience. Now imagine if you were in the position to make sure everyone got in the building as efficiently as possible. You have a certain number of staff and gates for fans to enter the building through. Data from other games with similar timing, weather, and opponents are used to anticipate what conditions will be like. Your team would have to make sure everyone has a ticket and has the appropriate items with them. If you can anticipate where most people are going to enter, say by their parking location or the kind of ticket they have, you can avoid a situation of fans having to wait in frustrating long lines. No one likes waiting in line, right? We're always looking for the shortest line to get us through our situation as quickly as possible. Everyone has an amount of time where their patience runs out. And this is one of the first experiences at the football game. It can set a tone for your entire day. And that's why it's so important to make sure that it's a good one. Well, that's what we're asking you to do right now. So let's get to it. We're coming up on game three of the season and we have data from games one and two. In a moment, you'll see data for how many people came into each gate at the stadium. We use four gates for the majority of our guests, A, B, C, and F. You will also see how many staff members are located at each gate. You will compare the number of staff to guests in a ratio, then simplify it so that we know how many guests there are for every one staff member. To do that, you'll divide both numbers by the staff number. After you have the ratios for each example from these two previous games, you will also see how happy the guests are with their entry experience. With this data, you should be able to give us a good idea of staff to guest ratio that gets us a high score on our customer happiness. We're looking to have at least a score of 80 on the happy or not scale. So you look at the data and you find the ratios that come closest to 80 and they give us a ratio range that you think could help us keep our fans smiling. Here's the data from game one. You'll see we organized the staff pretty evenly throughout, but fans didn't seem to get the memo. So here's a look at game two. In game two, we responded by changing where the staff is located, but we still didn't get the numbers we wanted at each gate. Here's a look at both data sets side by side. Take a moment to pause here or even print out this page and see if you can fill in the blanks and give us an answer. Remember, we're looking for the staff to guest ratio that gets us closest to an 80 score on the happy or not scale. Great work. Now we'll show you what the staff to guest ratios are, and you'll see which ones are closest to our target score. And that, friends, is how math is such a huge part of football and our lives. So I hope you keep practicing your math skills, even if it gets difficult, because it's important. Another way you can practice these skills is by keeping track of information at home. You can visit our digital playbook and record your own athletic data on page 26. You can also watch our Digital Playbook Review page 27 video on nutrition and keep data on what you eat. Whatever you do, I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something new. Think about this the next time you're a customer. What kind of experience are you having? What do you think could improve your experience? Feedback from customers like you is how improvements are made in all types of businesses. Please share this with anyone else you think would like this video and reach out to us with your answers using hashtag 49ersEDU on social media. We'll see you next time. Take care and go Niners!